Welcome back. Here are the top five stories you need to know about this Friday. Breaking news. Highway 70 is closed by a new rock slide this morning. Caltrans notified us about the slide around four this morning. Highway 70 is closed in the Feather River Canyon between Jarbo Gap and Greenville Y, and there's no word on when it will reopen. New this morning, there are major changes coming to the Chico Community Observatory. It's near Horseshoe Lake in Chico's Upper Bidwell Park. Plans are underway to have the Chico Area Recreation and Park District, or CARD, take over the observatory facility and manage it in the future. The observatory has been closed for about a year due to storm damage and legal issues. The observatory has the outdoor seating and telescopes inside for stargazing. Also new this morning, plans are underway to bring a new golf course complex to DeGarmo Park in Chico. This is on the city's north side, just off the Esplanade. And here are some of the early drawings of what that could look like. Later phases could include a lighted nine-hole golf course. One goal is to provide golfers of all ages the chance to experience the game of golf. New details this morning about a homeless man from Oroville found guilty of stabbing attacks on two different homeless men. A Butte County jury convicted Chance Vincent yesterday. New this morning, we've learned he's also awaiting trial for additional charges of assaulting a correctional officer inside the Butte County Jail. He faces up to 11 years in prison for the stabbings and could face more time if convicted of the jail assault. And take a look at this, a car found in Oroville with an entire road sign stuck in the windshield. The Oroville CHP said they followed a trail of clues like leaking fluid left at Highway 162 and Highway 70 interchange, and they eventually made a DUI and hit and run arrest. Police say they found the driver intoxicated and still near the car with the sign stuck in the windshield. Police say despite damage to that car, no one was hurt.